Good morning, and uh, it's uh, November 9th. Uh, it's getting to be midway into November here, and I got a last minute Dollar Tree video I'm going to be doing. It's a pretty big haul. There's about eh, 15 to 20 titles. I'd say closer to 20 here. Um, let's get started. First off, here's from Echo Bridge. It's the movie called Larry Gay. Larry Gay, Renegade Male Flight Attendant, stars Mark Fierstein, Danny Pudi, Jama Mays, and Patrick Warburton. Um, I believe it was Henry who said this is really bad, but I, I, I just wanted to see how bad he was talking, so I grabbed it. I thought maybe, you know, I don't have it in the collection, so... And I like that it's in a clear case here, so I mean, it's only a dollar if it's that bad. You know, so be it. It's from 2016. Larry Gay is the best flight attendant in the world, not to mention popular with the ladies, but Larry is called on to rise up and save the day when the airline he works for tries to replace human flight attendants with robots as a cost-cutting measure. Yeah, it's um, from 2015. It also says 2016, so I I'm assuming it's 2015 with the movie. Probably didn't really hit distribution from, uh, let's see, Orion Pictures until 2016, maybe. But uh, that's uh, Larry Gay. And next up, movie starring Fat Joe. I, I, this name, it reminds me of Atlanta Smart Set. It's Alex Mazinat and James. Danano. It's called Checkmate. In New York City, it's good cop versus bad cops. But uh I figured I'd get it. It has Fat Joe in it. I seen him in one of the scary movies. I just wanted to get to know who he who he truly how his acting, you know, skills are and stuff. So just trust no one in the streets of New York City. A drug war is brewing between bikers and the local drug dealers. A group of corrupt cops have taken the lead on the investigation while trying to set up an honest detective set up an honest detective to take the heat. In this dangerous game game only one honor, honorable man can stop the war before he's killed by the dishonest cops who betrayed him. I've seen this in other waves, and I, I just I just went over it, so now I have it from him. And then next up, this I, this here I know was a Wild Eye title. It's called Demon Hunter. I, I'm not sure if I got it before. I, I could have. Uh, it says the world for your uh, soul has begun. This is for a Walmart exclusive, too, in a Mill Creek at that. And a Wild Eye. <laughs> Uh, after she's captured by police for questioning and the slaying of a man she claimed was a demon, Taryn Barker must prove her innocence in the existence of demons. But when a demonic cult captures the daughter of one of the detectives on the case, the police must trust and unleash this warrior on the satanic group who are intent on bringing an ancient evil force into the world. And like I said, this is a Wild Eye release. Um, you can go to their website www.wildeyereleasing.com uh, it does say 2018 right there uh, 85 minutes on this one it's kind of like in the tradition of uh, maybe Buffy the Vampire Slayer only there's demons instead of vampires in this one and like I said this was this was probably top top tier at Walmart it's probably about 15 12 to 15 dollars at one point there got it for a dollar there's the wild eye logo right there really happy to have that I'll have to review that at some point too um, this this I never heard of it's called white 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 or God uh, the unwanted will have her their day fierce and beautiful the New York Times. Um, I have no idea what I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree. I was, it makes me wonder if the Dollar Tree didn't get some kind of a small truck 
and movies happen to come in on it because I've I've never seen this in any of the Dollar Trees that I've went to. Um, it looks like it's about killer dogs. Yeah, yeah. There's got some killer dogs going on, and this has some pretty pretty extensive uh, special features for a DVD. It's rated R. Um, 121 minutes on this one though. Since it's masterful and simply stunning. I'm probably going to read this one cause, just because I've never heard of it. When young Lily is forced to give up her beloved dog Hagen because its mixed breed heritage is deemed unfit by the state, she and the dog begin a, a dangerous journey back towards each other. At the same time, all the unwanted, unloved, and so-called unfit dogs rise up under a new leader, Hagen one-time house pet who has learned all too well from his masters in his journey through the streets and animal control centers that man is not always dog's best friend. This looks really cool. I love the I love the vibe of this one. My wife saw this. I saw it in a in a different set or in another aisle because they have them up by the register and then they had them in an aisle. I found one in the register up she found one at the register aisle and I found one in, in the actual aisle and uh, maybe I should have picked up the the two of them because somebody might have wanted this one because I've I, like I said I've never heard of the is that white dog or white god yeah I've never heard of this one uh, this was a magnolia pictures too so I don't think they make an awful lot of horror related stuff really fascinated by that one and I picked up a kid's title called Henry and Me, Richard Gere, Chaz Palminteri, Danny Aiello, Luis Guzman, Cindy Lauper, Paul Simon, and Austin Williams. I don't know if that's Paul Simon. Oh, it says it's featuring Hank, Hank Steinbrenner in the New York Yankees. Um, Paul Simon, I don't know if that's the singer, Paul Simon. It might be. Uh, it's from Momentum Pictures. And they have a website, MomentumPictures.net. It's only 66 minutes on this one, though, unfortunately. I didn't see this in many videos, or hardly any either, so pretty lucky to find that. Pretty much self-explanatory about a boy. I don't know if it's his love for the New York Yankees, but it does have, uh, looks like Reggie Jackson and... I don't know. Can't really see too many of the characters too good to, as to who they are. But uh, pretty interesting on that one. And then next up, I got a movie called Dirty Lies, Living the Dream Will Cost You. Mark L. Young, Scott Taylor Compton, Tania Raymond, or Raymond. How do you want to pronounce that? Ramon. Uh, produced by Catherine Hardwick, director of Twilight. Uh, it's 5.1 on this one, 83 minutes from ITN and E1 distributors here. Um, pretty basic. It looks like a kind of like a cop by numbers kind of thing here. I don't know. Maybe she's a uh, like a hit hit woman or whatever. I have really no idea. Um, Says she's entrusted with a million dollar necklace and races to find out which of the money Hunter's roommates betrayed him as he battles a desperate criminal duel bet on stealing. Uh, sounds like it's like a maybe a jewel heist kind of thing. I'm not sure. But that's Dirty Lies. I don't think I've ever seen this in too many of them either. There's the back. And that is a, let's see, is that an Echo Bridge or, oh, no, I said ITN. Okay. I need one. And then I got one with a really cool slipcover here. I don't know if you can see it there. It's called Last The Last Witness. I don't know if you could pick, yeah, see how shiny the last, the, the logo is for The Last Witness. Um, Alex Pettifer, Robert White, Wickix. Tallulah Riley and Michael Ga Gambin. Uh, when war ends, the fight for the truth begins. And this 
this should slide out because it's already coming out here. But uh, there's the, they're basically the same. Might be something hair hair different, maybe. I, I doubt it, but uh, I couldn't read this if I wanted to. They put a good old sticker right right there on a slip cover. Unreal. Um, and I'm not attempting to take that off. Um, that's a momentum pictures as well. It's not rated. I don't know if it's unrated or but uh it has something to do with the British government and our and collusion going on. Uh, apparently, they're covering up Stalin's one of Stalin's crimes in this movie. But uh, it's the last witness. I don't know if she's got like I don't know if the ladies. Let's see. No, I don't know if it's the guy. I don't, know, I don't know who the witness is. It's hard to tell by the by the way it looks. But uh, I don't know if they're trying to say that's Stalin or if that's the witness to Stalin or whatever. But it's the last witness. And next up, we got a movie starring David Denman, Jillian Jacobs, or Jillian Jacobs, however you want to say it, Kevin Hart and Ed Asner. Really happy to have someone with Ed Asner, Mr. Fredrickson from uh, Up. <laughs> he did the voice of him in that. Uh, written and directed by Brian Jett, a comedy about love, loss, and other felonies. And it has the actor who plays in um, Big Bang Theory right there. I don't know if he's... I'm not I'm not familiar with the cast's name in uh, Big Bang Theory. I don't watch that. Um, let's see. Parole officer Walter Dishman has a seemingly perfect marriage, but lately... Is feeling trapped by domestic bliss. Then he meets Darla, Artie, and Chris, three eccentric ex convicts who unexpectedly help him turn his life around. I guess David Denman in this is a uh, Big Bang Theory actor. It says he's a parole officer in this one. So, yeah, it's got to be. That's the only cast that's pretty, you know, predominantly in this is on the cover, and I would think he'd be one of the top actors in it, other than Kevin Hart and Ed Asner here, of course. But but uh, let go. How long was that one? Uh, that was uh, that's 109 minutes on that one. Um, next up here, Two Night Stand. I got this for my wife because she likes these romantic uh, dramedies or whatever you want to call them. Miles Teller, Anna Lee Tipton, two, Before Love, Two Night Stand, After Sex. So smart, so funny, so real. Pete Hammond of Movie Line. And there's the cover for it, Two Night Stand. Uh, 86 minutes on this one from 2015. I'm not going to read what it's about because it's pretty much by the numbers. These, to me, these are all pretty much the same. They, the whole the whole happiness by the end kind of thing goes on too much for, for me. That's why I don't really care for romantic comedies. But I picked this one up because she's a big fan of that. And it doesn't hurt to have it, though, either. But it has a slew of special features on this for a DVD as well. Um... 86 minutes, if I didn't say. It even has a website. You can go on Facebook, Two Night Stand Movie. Or you can go to the dot .com, have a two night stand dot com. So, they covered all their bases on the back here to plug this movie. Hopefully, it did well for them. I, I don't, I'm not big on them, but hopefully it did well for them by doing that. This one sounds like it's got paper. I might have to open this one. It's called Milton's Secret, starring uh, Donald Sutherland. I'm sorry, I have to take a minute or two to open this. It's gonna bother me if I don't know. I hope it's not a disc because it wasn't doing. It didn't do this in the store. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Well, it's a little pamphlet that came in here. Uh, Milton's Secret, a message from Eckhart Tolle, the author of Milton's Secret, The Power of Now and a New Earth. Well, they, he included a little uh, introduction to it, I guess. But uh, this is a Dove Approved title here, based on the book Milton's Secret by Robert Friedman and Eckhart Tolle, author of The Power of Now, Donald Sutherland, William Ains Kyle and Michelle Rodriguez had to grab this. I like Donald Sutherland a lot. I know he played a bit of a creep in uh, what was that haunting one where he he was getting after his daughter or something or granddaughter or something. Uh, he's really creepy in that. But outside of that, I mean, you got to do what you got to do for you know acting and stuff. But uh. But 12-year-old Milton Adams feels his world is in crisis with his parents stressing about their careers and finances and the neighborhood bully tormenting him. He is constantly anxious, but when Milton's optimistic grandpa comes to visit, he learns, or Donald Sutherland, comes to visit, he learns the secret to finding true happiness from a man who has seen the world and who has committed to living life in the now. Uh, a slew of special features on this one. And I'm very happy to have this one. This too was from... A, mo there had a lot of momentum pictures in this. A uh, little bit of a haul here. But uh, that's uh, Milton's Secret. Next up. Got based on the ins inspirational true story called Victor. Mother's love, a son's addiction, the faith to overcome. And here this one is. Um, this is PG-13. From 2017. 105 minutes on this one. Uh, I think I might have gotten this before. It sounds familiar. If I haven't, I might have seen it in someone else's video. But it's anamorphic widescreen on this one. With a 5.1 surround. And, and in Spanish surround. Uh, color, color, of course. Um, this takes place during the early 60s, so it's going to have that 60s vibe to it in it. Sorry about the pop-ups. Uh, it's, it's letting me know who's responded to any uh, comments I make on YouTube. I like to have that up just for the fact that it lets me know if people are getting back to me. I, I don't like to not answer people's questions. Uh... This was the only one I got that was horror that I can see here. Yeah. Well, actually, I got two, but I got that from another place. Uh, this is a BBC Save Our Skins. I have no idea if this is a show, but I love the cover here. Uh, 86 minutes. It must be a movie of sorts. Uh, let me try to see. What if the last man left on Earth were idiots? So I don't know if it's a bit of a comedy or... Apparently it's about two British uh, gents, as, you, as they say, uh, who aren't too bright, it says, uh, who wake up in New York City only to find that the entire human race has vanished in this one. So, And that's uh, Save Our Skin. There's the spine. If you can see it too good there. But uh like I said, 86 minutes from BBC and Farmhouse and Duo Du Poly. Duo Poly. Hmm. Interesting. And then I got this one more or less from my uncle because he's a born again Christian. Uh, it's a two movie collection starring uh, Kurt Cameron, Revive Us and Revive Us 2, two national Family meetings, find hope and inspiration from America's top faith leaders, Francis Francis Chan, Ravi Zachar, Zacharias, Dr. Ben Carson, Joni Eckerson, Tata, and Alex Kendrick here. Like I said, this is a two-movie collection here. Uh, it has uh, a number of um, spiritual leaders here. 
it has a bunch of uh, special features on it as well. And I plan on giving this to my uncle just because he sounded like he is a big Kirk, Kirk Cameron fan since he too has uh, been born again. Not trying to get religious here on you guys, but religion does have its place, especially now with everything going on with the country. Uh, 120 minutes on this one. I don't know if both of them are that. They most they both must, might be 120. I'm not really sure. I only see one 120 minute. Oh no, uh, revive us one is 109, and the second is 120 minutes. So 100. 109, 120. So. Special 2-DVD package starring Kirk Cameron. Next up, I don't know if this is a knockoff of Straight Outta Compton, but uh, it's called Straight Outta Oakland. There's only one way out. A lot of, like shoot them up movies this time around at the Dollar Tree from what I saw. Like that's mostly what I picked up this time. ITN and E1 here. Sadly only a 2.0 stereo with 100 it's 150 minutes of running time. It says four boys now men still live in community in a rundown community and has transformed a man negotiates his way through and discovers there's only one way out. Sorry, I can't quite read a little. I had to leave. Oh, geez, I guess I did leave a lot of the back off because it's way the writing's way over here. So <laughs> sticker took some of that stuff off. I, I tried to read what I could. It's not too easy with stickers all over it. But uh, I don't like to take them out of plastic unless I have to for like cases where the the inserts are flopping around and I think it's a disc so then I will but I kind of go by if I leave it in a wrapper a lot of times I'll know if I've watched it you know like you, you know sometimes you watch so many movies you're not especially with like horror because so many of them seem similar in, in some regard but this is an e E1 film an ITN distributed movie here like I said, it's straight out of Oakland. It seems like it's a bit of a knockoff out of straight out of Compton. And I got another kid's title here. Starring Taylor Kitsch, Jeanette McCurdy, James Woods, Carlo Gugino, uh, Tom Green, John Heater from Napoleon Dynamite, and Jason Mewes. Well, that's pretty neat. Jason Mewes and John Heater in one movie. wonder if they met on set or not. You know, since I know sometimes when you film movies, you don't see a lot of another actor on, on set sometimes. Um, it's the movie Bling. Get ready to rock. If I remember right, this was a pretty pretty good flick here. But, it's Bling. Kind of happy with a lot of the choices that we got this time around for not really being enough, you know, rumored to have a haul or anything. And then I got another Fat Joe movie with Christine Borges, or Borges, Alex Mazinet. Uh, it's called Turf War. There's no justice without revenge. That's the second movie with uh, Fat Joe and Alex Mazinet in it here. Like I said, that Alex Mazinet reminds me of Lannis Morissette with the name. You just don't see that name all that much. Uh... A war between bikers and drug dealers. Detective ugh, Manny Ramirez is out to stop the violence, but when his investigation leads him to his own precinct, he realizes he must go outside the law to get justice. And I'm trying to find where that one was. Last one with Fat Joe that I showed in this video was Checkmate, and this one is Turf War. So he's getting his uh, buddy cop or. I don't know, kind of like Renegade Cop movie here. So it looks like he's trying to throw his acting skills in the ring. So that's pretty cool. And then I got movie starring Tommy O'Neill, uh, Daniel Cult, man, Cult to, 
I'm not going to say that last name. Andre, Andreas Karras, Jamie Crew, and Dexter Fletcher. Smoking guns. They're making a killing. You know, I started watching this, I believe, at the drive-in when it was out. And it just did not mesh with me. So I grabbed it again just to see if maybe it was the summer heat. You know, or I just wasn't up for this kind of movie. Because sometimes you sit in the dark for so long. And you get kind of drowsy if something's not really fast-paced. So I, I picked this up just to be on the safe side. Just to give it another chance. SP releasing. It just, I don't know, what I remember of it, it just was like really not my cup of tea. But maybe it will be upon viewing it again. Uh, and it's uh, Smoking Guns. Quite a extensive cast right here. My, uh... My wife does not like this guy in the middle too good. This guy right here. He plays in a lot of British type related movies, but she does not like him. She says he plays a jerk and everything. <laughs> um, and then I got a really cheap knockoff here. I don't know if it's trying to knock off Starship Troopers. It kind of gives that vibe. It's a Starship Apocalypse. Victory or Death. The galaxy needs a hero following the collapse of a of the civilized world as the overseer supreme ruler of the Galactic Federation seeks to extend his reign and enslave what remains of humanity. Only revolutionary commander John Worthy and his rebel band of fighters stand between freedom and an intergalactic apocalypse. I'm not sure if it's animated or no, it looks like live action. Uh, it's from E1, 87 minutes. 5.1 on this one. Um, actually kind of looks like it could be a knockoff of Star Wars with the plot. Because, I mean, it's about revolutionaries and rebels. And it actually seems like it's trying to be more like Star Wars than Starship Troopers. It doesn't really look like there's any creatures that they fight or anything. More like just shooting each other, so more than likely more like a Star Wars ripoff. Not that that's a bad thing, but you got to do these well. You got to have a decent sized budget. Hopefully, they pull it off for what they you know they have to work with. And I just got two more, and this one coming up here is the Forgiven. Forgiveness has a price. Uh, another IT, ITN E1 distributing here 20 years after the horrors of a West African uh, Civil War Reverend Brian William confronts his past when his wife and daughter are kidnapped sounds kind of interesting here 2.0 99 minutes on this one it's, con it's classified as a thriller so I don't know if it's kind of like kind of like one of them shoot em ups that could you know could kind of be like mild horror in a sense because I mean it's a like real life horror of having your daughter taken and you're you know doing whatever you can to get her back but uh that's the back I thought at first that was Mike Tyson at first on the back there but it's a little too old to be him that looked like him at first when I glanced at it and that's uh the forgiven and then my very last one, I did not get this at the Dollar Tree. I got this at Dollar General, as you'll see here, but why I say that in a minute. Uh, Shannon Doherty and Christopher Lloyd uh, in Blood Lake, they feed on one thing only, as seen on Animal Planet. Uh, yeah, that's right, guys. It's an asylum here. It does have a decent amount of special features. Um after chomping through massive fish populations, thousands of starved lampreys, lampreys begin attacking the citizens of a sleepy lake town, leaving the community scrambling to stay alive. I more or less got it because I had the two actors, uh, Shannon Doherty and um, Christopher Lloyd. I like both. Uh, 87 minutes. Uh, hopefully, Shannon... Doherty's back to feeling well. I know she had some serious uh, nearly death uh, 
deathly sickness and hopefully she's feeling better now. Uh, felt bad when I heard that she was battling for her life there. I think she might have had cancer of some sort. Felt bad to see that because it was an actress that I grew up watching. Um, yeah, it's got a slew of uh, features. It says it's in a new horror creature classic in the tradition of Piranha and Jaws. Uh, and it says from Animal Planet's Monster Week, so they must Animal Planet must have played this. Like I said, it's Blood Lake, and that's why it's Dollar General, because that's where I got it, and that's the stick, their typical sticker. They feed on them on. They feed on one thing only. Kind of like that cover. I mean, it's kind of cheap, but it's kind of cool at the same time. Kind of like a throwback look with the. The way they did the cover art here. But uh this is a Cynodyme title here. It's not rated. And that is the final movie I have to show today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the whole stack of movies that I got this time around. Um not sure when I'll be back with another video, but the next video I will be doing is another review for Wild Eye. Uh thank you for watching my reviews i'm really been happy with the amount of you know viewership i've gotten for that because that's i know that's kind of like a niche kind of viewership because not everybody likes to sit through reviews but i was given the opportunity to review for them and i've done so and i really have been enjoying it and i'd like to thank everybody out there it's been a part of that uh, i'll be seeing you again in a couple of days and share like and subscribe leave any comments below i'd like to know your feedback on things uh tell me what you picked up uh i'll tell me that you've been going back to the movies as long as you've you know been safe and everything but uh take care and i'll see you in the next video see you later guys bye